We begin with former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith, one step closer to a plea deal with the feds and possibly heading to prison. We thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn, and that is only half of the criminal trouble for Smith. Tonight, he is facing 10 serious charges, and a former colleague and friend has turned on him and will testify for the state. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live downtown at federal court to break it all down for us. Jim? And this case is only one count obstruction of justice. The plea deal one to two years. This charge could bring up to 20. U.S. attorney here today declining to discuss the plea deal, but told us earlier this case is clear cut. That is because Mr. Smith stole money from his campaign account and he used it for his own personal whims. Eric Smith has signed an agreement to plead guilty to obstruction. The allegations he told two assistants to lie to the FBI when Smith learned they were investigating him, make up stories to cover it up. The Attorney General says you're a mob boss. In March, the Michigan Attorney General charged Smith with racketeering, embezzlement, and eight other charges for allegedly stealing forfeiture funds from drug and drunk driving cases. Last year, Michigan State Police raided his prosecutor's office and went to his home to remove surveillance cameras, allegedly paid for with the stolen money. Here's Smith's brand new trouble, a confidant, former chief assistant Ben Liston, now a cooperating witness. And initially, you were not as forthcoming about your role in these events, along with the fact that you tried to protect your boss and friend, Eric Smith, on crimes he allegedly committed. Liston was facing up to 20 years in prison, charged with running a criminal enterprise and embezzlement. Yesterday, that was reduced to three misdemeanors, six months in jail and flipping. And, and to cooperate with law enforcement as provided in the special consideration form and to testify in any proceedings in this matter. Smith and three others are charged with stealing $600,000 in that state case. Smith is facing decades up to 20 years in prison with 10 charges, especially if he goes to trial. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you for the live report.